now after completing the selection tool there is one more option called the filter now within this filter options there is so many presets options called the artistic blur brush strokes distort noise pixelate render sharpen sketch stylized texture and video and others now these are the actually the presets filters filter means there is some image and we are going to give some effect which is inbuilt effect we can adjust sometimes there is a artistic effect like it's a paint picture sometimes we see some pictures which is so far from us and there is a blur type some effect is there for that reason we can use the motion blur radial blur sometimes we see some lighting effect like the rays has coming from the sun to get the realistic effect over the image we can use these filters the total thing is depends on your imagination your idea the thing is we can show some of the filters and their utilizations the most of the filters is as like as what we are going to show right now basically the filters is used artistic blur render sometimes sharpen this is actually used only for when to get some different templates or background is different or if the background is far from us to get the same type of effect or lighting effect for that reason we use the render one and some of the effect called the water effect that wave wind this is actually the inbuilt filter effect so now we have to use that filter according to our situations or according to our idea now you have to see how to utilize the filter we are going to open an image file maximize that one Press control plus and fit it with the screen then you can visualize properly now basically digital photo compose composer or digital photo designers most time use the color pencil dry brush film grain neon glow poster is plastic web spawns these are these are all the filters like one i'm going to show you now we can see the effect it's a colored pencil effect we can increase the pencil width we can increase the stroke or can decrease it we can increase the brightness of the paper or decrease now we are going to show you another effect which is called the blur effect this is called the radial blur the thing is depends on on your idea now another more option 
using the render effect called lens flare sometimes we see the sunlight or glowness Sometimes we see the lens flare like the sun or we can use the lighting effect. We can increase the radius. We have the different options spotlight, omni and direction we have the default or five light option parallel one three down triple spotlight rbg color flush light five up two clock spotlight of first light this is actually the default option press ok you can get the different effect now control Z for step backward now one more option is remaining that is called the sharpen there is a call unsharp mask and one is called the sharpen more now what is that unsharp mask we can adjust the amount we can increase it but the radius should be 2 or lesser than 2 if it is 1 it is good and the threshold should be 0 or maximum 1 now press ok and you can go to the other options also the utilization is same as like as the whatever we shown right now but the whole thing depends upon on your idea now we are going to zoom out going to close that file